Singapore's economy grew faster than expected in the fourth quarter as the city-state emerged from the worst recession in its history. GDP expanded 5.9% in the final three months of 2021. That brought the full-year number to 7.2%, a significant turnaround from a more than 5% contraction the year before. The Asian financial and transportation hub benefited from the easing of restrictions that stunted economic activity during the height of the pandemic. Authorities were able to let businesses to reopen and international travel to resume thanks to a region-leading vaccination rate. Around 9 in 10 eligible Singaporeans are fully inoculated against COVID-19 and now 2 in 5 have gotten their boosters. But the economic comeback is leading to unwanted side effects. Rising demand has helped fuel higher inflation both in consumer goods and housing and like most other major economies, Singapore's outlook is clouded by the Omicron variant. For more on this story, let's bring in Yun Liu. She's an economist who keeps track of Singapore for HSBC and joins us live from Hong Kong. Welcome to the program, Yun. Uh, a nice way to cap 2021 for Singapore with full-year growth at its fastest in more than a decade. But what's the outlook now for 2022? Is this a sustainable pace for the city-state? Thank you, Paulo. Thank you for having me. Uh, yes, indeed, this morning we saw uh, you know, quite a nice um, upside surprise of Singapore's economy. So in 2021, uh, Singapore's GDP expanded um, by 7.2%, uh, overshooting market expectations and also the authorities' forecast. In 2022, we believe that you know, Singapore is in a better position to remain um, on this solid growth track, given its you know, manufacturing resilience, especially its strength um, in the semiconductor space. Um, as well as, you know, as you mentioned, you know, high vaccination rates that pave, that will pave the way uh, for, um, you know, economic reopening on, on travel and also recovery in domestic services. Now, as you say there, Singapore closely tied to international trade, finance as well, and transportation, so the reopening of borders. Now, how vulnerable is the city-state to problems like supply chain bottlenecks? And the possibility of border restrictions coming back across the world. Of course, there's energy shortages too that we're seeing in the U.S. and uh, Europe, China that are affecting factories there. Uh, how can Singapore cope with that? Uh, yeah, you know, two years into this pandemic, that Singapore actually has approved its uh, resilience in uh, supply chain, um, uh, in its supply chain. So it's quite sort of the opposite story that we saw, you know, the severe supply chain disruptions um, in Europe and, and in the States. Well, in, in terms of travel, you know, Singapore's authorities are really doing whatever it takes, are really doing what, whatever it can uh, to um, uh, open its border and resume travel. Um, you know, Singapore is actually one of the very first Asian countries to um, kickstart a very ambitious reopening plan since the, uh, since the last quarter, 2021. Um, and yes, you know, there is this Omicron concern, but I think, uh, you know, Singapore's vaccination rate, at least it will help itself sort of, you know, achieve a delicate balance between uh, safeguarding its public health um, and also uh, continuing on this, uh, continue to push on this um, uh, reopening front. All right. Yun Liu, HSBC in Hong Kong, thank you for joining us. We end with your analysis.